Yeah, so an Alan Ginter uh, last night uh, during that last name letter box break, we had a card come out that didn't really have the last name letter uh, easily shown for that person. And then we realized, you know, there's a bunch of cards that have the last name may not be visible of that person. And um, we just kind of wanted to be real clear with everybody how we've done these in the past and how we do these specifically for this product is, is that we're using the subject name and it's the last, it's the first letter in the last part of the subject's name shown, even if it's not a person. So if it says like, uh, like mud guy, I don't, I don't know that there's a card that says mud guy on it, but in that case it would go to G for guy, but there is certain objects like that, that, um, where it may not even be a person. It may be like an object. So just to, just to kind of clarify some of the rules and everything, if you don't, didn't know that already, and we, we've done a lot of breaks like that in the past, so it's not something that a lot of people uh, are unfamiliar with. It's not anything really new, but it just was worth adding this in the description because there are some cards where there might not be a last name. And it's not so much about the person's last name, but it's actually uh, the last name on the card. It's the first letter or the letter initial. Most most cards in here, like Mike Trout, it's going to go to T. It's real cut and dry there. Most card get award. Most cards get awarded to the last name letter initial. But in the event that there's not a last name um, on the card, typical, then it will just go to the last name on the card describing the subject. Uh, on the card so it's, it sounds a little complicated but it's really not it's real easy so that card there uh, just wanted to let everybody know it does go to s owner from our box break last night so that is an update uh, for alan and ginter's box break the 901 box it was a really good box we had some good things coming out of there so Let's see, this one gets awarded to should be able to tell you in a second we had some cool stuff coming out of this box it's Frank G's it's gonna be Frank G's hit yeah that was a nice low numbered parallel mini right there so we just had some neat things popping out in alan Ginter. we're looking forward to the next big thing around here coming up and congratulations to letter s center from that break pulling down the ski hope so for that card it would be like it would be ears or no, it would be uh, Broderin. That's what that that car would have been Broderin. Okay. So it might not come up too much, but we just wanted to get things real clear and concise, so um, no one is confused about what it, where a car might go that doesn't have a person's last name on it. 